On the 18th of August 2021, authorities in Lagos, Nigeria's commercial hub placed a ban on street begging. Although full enforcement of the ban has begun within the state, compliance by the beggars is too low. This brings the question, how deep is street begging in this region? From research, it has been established that religion, culture and poverty have their claws deeply rooted in the sustenance of street begging. One of the basic things that Islam has come to preserve is a person's honor. And it is very dishonorable for a person to be begging on the street. It is not permissible at all. Although there are circumstances that can make a person to beg temporarily. The scripture does not encourage the, 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 the going to the streets physically by beggars to beg. The, all the scriptures says about the concerning the beggar is that the beggar should be remembered and they should be supported. It's a, it's a society problem that government has to look into. In Africa, particularly in Yoruba land where I came from, the Yoruba are neither in support nor against street begging. They are not in support of street begging because Yoruba people don't call do laziness. They believe that anybody that is begging to feed is lazy. And they are not against it because their religion and their culture permits it. How much of a security threat are these beggars? If you must bring up a child, you must be prepared to take care of that child because when you bring up a child that uh, poses threat to the Nigerian state, I think uh, the government should start looking at um, uh, creating another institution or an institution that will take care of most of these guys on the streets because uh, anyone on the street is a potential threat uh, to the state. Who is in charge of taking them away from the street? Where will they be taken to? What are the sanctions for violators? We have uh, people complaining about uh, the activities of uh, these uh, so-called uh, beggars. Uh, most of the time, people call in to say that uh, they've been robbed by people who pretend uh, to be uh, beggars. So what we do is that uh, we have a plan for them. Uh, we take them to rehabilitation centers, the genuine ones among them. Those who are not genuine among them who are just criminals, they will have to face the law. And we take them to places like uh, Majidun, like Owutu, where you have uh, rehabilitation centers where they can begin to reform their lives, maybe learn a trade, maybe even get uh, some education so that they don't, uh, the genuine ones among them don't continue to do uh, this uh, uh, business that is uh, not good for the uh, society at all. While some speculate that street begging has become a corporate venture, especially for people from the northern part of Nigeria, others say it is a lifeline from poverty. The common ground, however, is that street begging is a security threat and must be totally eradicated. Ni Omoni, reporting for News Central.